Hey guys, how's it going? One of my kids' favorite um, movies. We have all of them recorded. So, hey Jamie, what's going on, girl? So, so I was at the gym today and um, I was listening to some of our leadership series. It's a leadership series about Jim Rohn, who is one of the best leaders of all time. He never stopped learning. He wanted to learn as much as he could, and that is why he was an amazing leader. Um, so we, I was listening to that at the gym today, and I was like, oh my god, this week's modules are so good. And it's like 10, it's like 4, 10 to 20 minutes. Um, modules but they're just so amazing and we talk about it time and time and time again and it's the law of averages so I'm just gonna give you an example and this this law of averages is always I mean no matter what you do it's there it is consistent so you can't fight it okay so um, the law of averages hi how's it going so the law of averages states that at some point in you reaching out to people, if you do it enough, you create an average. So if I talk to 10 people, so if I talk to 10 people and I just started with my business, I might get one yes and nine no's. So my average is 10%, right? So... <clears throat> Now put me in a competition with someone who's been in it for, let's say, a year or two, and their average is probably higher, okay, because, hi, because they're av they have had practice, they've gotten better, they've learned over the years how to um, recruit, who to recruit, who to talk to, who their target market is, where to go for those, so their averages are, are usually a little bit better, but here's the thing. You can put me in a competition when I first start with somebody who has like a three, four, five to 10 law of average. So maybe for every 10 people they ask, they get three to four to five people that are saying yes. So their average is 30, 40, 50%. But if my average is only 10%, one in every 10 people say yes, and everyone has a, an average as you keep going, um, I'm still going to win in this competition. Why? Because I'm going to reach out to more people. Okay? So if you need 24 distributors to go diamond this month and your average is one in 10 people say yes, then how many people do you need to talk to this month and ask? Remember, we are professional askers. You need to talk to 240 new people and ask them to join you in this business. If, you're, if your average is one in 20, then you need to talk to 480 people. This business is 100% numbers. So the more people you talk to, the better. Now what happens? Here's what happens. People get stuck up. They tell, they tell John, hey John, I, um, you know, I've got this great opportunity for you. Will you come join me and listen to it? And John's like, yeah, I'm totally going to do it. And John's like, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I'm going to be your best person. I'm going to rock this business with you. And come time for John to sign up, he doesn't show. Why? Because the birds got after him. Something got in his ear, right? So what, what happens is the person who had talked to John, so, so maybe me, I talked to John, starts going after the birds, instead of going after my law of averages. You see, it's taken me out of the work that I needed to do to get through my numbers, to get through my 10 more, to get another one. So don't waste your time on the birds and the people giving the naysaying. Does that make sense? You, can't, you cannot waste your time on those people. You have to just keep finding more and keep checking in with John. So um, I see people, they get hung up because they're like, well, so-and-so said they were going to join, and so-and-so said they were going to join, and so-and-so said they were going to buy. Okay, but they didn't, and now you're wasting time on being upset about it? I, you're wasting valuable time, okay? Go find more. You're wasting your time. Just keep checking in, but you cannot get disappointed. Now, here's the thing. Why let the birdies disappoint you? Why let the weeds disappoint you? 
You know how many times I get someone that joins and then they go into the witness tech protection program? You know how many employers get people that say, yeah, I'm going to take the job and they don't show up to the first day or they're late? Same thing, guys. You have to learn not to feed the disappointment. So, because you're wasting time on getting through your averages. If I need 10 people and my average is only 1 in 10 people are saying that, then you talk to 100 people. So stop wasting your time on the no, stop wasting your time worrying about the no, stop wasting your time worrying about the people that said they were gonna buy or join and then they didn't, go find more. There's seven billion people in the in this world, okay? And we're at like 150,000 distributors worldwide. I mean, that's minuscule, okay? So, um, practice the law of averages talk to more people and when you get scared to talk to more people you just have to remember your why and you have to remember that if you don't talk to them then that just means it's a no anyways okay so um another thing i noticed oh glad i'm glad you like it um you know, when I get scared to talk to somebody or scared to blitz somebody or scared to ask them to throw a party or scared to ask, uh, have, ask them to join my team or scared to follow up, I say to myself, what if someone else does it first or before me or better than me or more often than me and they join that person and become the next ambassador diamond with It Works Global? How pissed am I going to be if that happens? And that's what makes me reach out to people. And that's what makes me cold message and say, hey, Sally, I've been thinking of you in this business. It's been amazing for us. I think you would rock it. You want to come? Can I send you some information on it? And it's so simple. Every day I try to reach out to five new people and say that. At least. And I should be doing more. I really should. Um, I'm going to make that my goal. But that's what I encourage you all to do, too. Work your averages. Find your average. And... And if you stay with me long enough in this and you learn and you get better, I promise you your averages will go up. Okay? I'm asking you to give me a year. Believe in this and put your full forward effort. Don't care about what the haters think. Why are you going to let somebody that does not have a dream, that does not have a vision, that's fat, broke, and unhappy, determine your future? Okay? So don't worry about any of that. That's my advice for today. I'm gonna go work on my averages. It's 8.25 here, um, and I have a party at 2 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, like, it makes no sense to, to take advice from something like that, right? Um, so why, why would you, you wouldn't take, like, you, I got you for a year, and then more, right? Because then you're gonna be rocking it. You got you gotta reach out. We gotta get in front of people. We gotta let them hear our excitement. Um, that's why I love Periscope because you guys can see like how passionate I really am and you could know nothing about the products. You could go nothing about the comp plan. You could not even know how to throw a party because this company gives you the system to do that. But if you have excitement, it takes you so far. Guys, when I started, I did not know what I was doing, but I was flipping stoked. I was seeing results from people. I was hearing testimonials. I would search the team pages and read testimonials about things, and I was like, wow, I'm excited. Like, I'm freaking excited. And I told everyone. I took my fat fighters out everywhere I went. I took my greens. I dumped them in things. I was at bars doing the fat fighter demo, telling someone to go get me oil. I do that with the wow now, show them your excitement because that'll take them far. And you know what? Haters are f afraid to like go after people that are so super stoked and excited, okay? They just hate it. They just, they'll talk behind your back and you know what, that's okay with me because they're behind you for a reason, okay? You blitzed at the Sonic drive through, yay! So when I blitz, I'm like, hey, here's a coupon for my business. I do free product raffles. Um, go ahead and just write your name and text number on the back of my receipt and I'll enter you in and also have a way to contact you for if you win. And that's what I tell people. But, all right guys, I'm gonna get to work. Happy Friday, it's follow-up Friday. People got paid today. Um, 
One of your regulars at the bar told me today that her daughter is a DT. How funny! That's crazy. <coughs> All right, guys. Let me get back to work. Thanks for tuning in. Love ya.